Well, we are getting ready to go on our first trip of the season. It's Memorial Day weekend. We're boondocking, so had to fill the tanks this time. 70 gallons of water going in. That gives us plenty. We know when we're out of water, we're out of the campground. And we're not going to the campground this week. We are going to some property that we have, and um, there's a big pond on it. That's where I hunt all year, so I'm very familiar with it. Rossi, what are we doing? Camping. Camping. He's ready to go. He's been ready since six o'clock this morning, which I kind of was too. So we're gonna go ahead and get to the campground and get all set up. Well, we're boondocking. So one of the first things we gotta do is get everything chalked up. Got the truck unhooked, chalked the other side. I wanted to do this side once I got out. We're gonna open everything up, get our generator going, and uh, get set up from there. But being this is our first time, we at least got some good information from the internet on what we should expect. One thing you don't expect until you're out here, the bugs. Lots and lots of bugs in the field that's just been freshly cut and deal with that. All right, so we are out here boondocking. First time boondocking since we got the camper. Um, we're actually out on property, as I said already. We're out on some property. This back here is where I've been hunting for the last 20, 25 years. So very familiar with this area. There's a nice pond back there. We're gonna do some fishing later. But for boondocking setup, uh, what's a little interesting is just the fact that you have nothing to plug into. So we filled up with 70 gallons of water. You saw that. Uh, we got our generator running in the back. I'll show you that real quick. He's got his gun. All good. Um, but when you're talking about the generator and stuff, we got a champion power generator. There's also a review on this channel, but see back there, it's pretty quiet. So it has two modes. One mode is running full steam. The other just revs itself up. So it's an eco mode. So I'm running it off gas now, but I also have two propane tanks. I parked my truck over here because it's not that noisy. Inside the camper, you can't hear it, but I wanted my truck to just add that extra layer of blockage uh, where we're out. So the goal this weekend is just to be super relaxed, kind of get that first one out of the way. But I like this because we were going to driveway camp and this is no different. I mean, we at least went to a space. Uh, we're self-sufficient. We have to worry about running in and out of the house. So looking forward to just getting started, getting some fishing. So we're just waiting for the girls to show up, aren't we? They're right now. It's just boys trip, huh? Yeah. All right. We'll see ya. Living it up big. It looks like a lot of sticks. I don't know. It's easy. Um, I'll have this put together in no time, huh, Rossi? All right, Griswold. Well, if I'm dedicated to getting something done. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we uh, there's clearly nothing to do, so we're making all the events. Wait, I should say I'm creating all the events for the kids. Look at one one side's already done. Uh, Rossi, hold this. Excuse me. What time did you get here today? <laughs> Rossi, hold what this time did you get here today? I got here at two. And what time um, did I get here? Well, you got here at 8 a.m. Because I'm dedicated to camping. And who did I have? You had McJr. And he's the easy one, right? <laughs> yes. Yep. Uh-huh. 8.30. 8.30. And then we, and you guys set up and you sent so, me pictures. Hi. And, um. Wait, we got an announcement from behind. Yes? Just the pieces were. So, <laughs> so I rigged it. Got a good frame. <laughs> it's got good bones, and that's about it. <laughs> okay, so, and you guys set up, and then we came here after we won no, the nail appointment go. because she could not miss it. Her nail appointment. Oh, let us see those nails. Those famous nails we got done that we couldn't come out this morning. Ooh. That seemed like a ruse to just not. Oh, they trim them back too? You yeah, said they, they were getting long. I, I didn't want them long. Who's gonna scratch my back? We came at like 2.15 and we did some fun stuff. We played like two seconds of kickball and then Grace quit. And then our cousins are coming out. 
And then I'm gonna go fill my water. Okay. Sounds good. Where's my water? I think it's inside, buddy. That's where daddy shoots all his deer. Yeah. Yeah. That moth with the deer, you gotta shoot that. Okay, I could do that. Hi guys! Okay, take it off. can do that. Baby mouth bass. Get anything? No. Chrissy caught one first. So. Good morning. This is day three. It's Memorial Day. Uh, I'm just getting a fresh start here fishing. Everyone else is still asleep in the camper, so I got up a little early. Boondocking's been amazing. It's been a great experience. We learned a lot. Learned a lot about the camper. It takes a ton of energy, um, especially on a day like, you know, you're in May here in Ohio, so it gets really hot during the day. It was up to like 82 yesterday. And then at night, it was down to 49 or 50. So you have to run air if you want to keep the camper cool inside otherwise it's a heat box uh, and then at night you have to run heat or else it's a refrigerator when you wake up so it's kind of that balance but we blew through propane and gas out of our generator i had to fill the generator twice with gas um, i didn't plan on it so this is our first time boondocking so one of my mistakes was not having enough gas having thought through the propane i had two tanks with me in addition to the two tanks that are on the camper i went right through the two smaller 20 pounds Filled it twice with gas because I could switch it back and forth. And then last night I had to pull one of my 30 pounds off to run it overnight because we were out of everything. So it was just not planned well with the gas. So I really kind of start to understand that part when people say you're boondocking. The other thing with the generator is, and we have a champion power generator. There's a review on this channel. Um, it's a great, it, it works amazing. I mean, it powers everything we have to worry about. Energy coming up and down. Has an eco button on it, so it does quiet down, which is great. But even at night, like I had to put it around my truck and block so that it would, the noise would kind of stop. And it really helped a lot. You could really not, you could barely hear it. You could hear the hum when you're inside the camper. But when you're outside, it's loud. And even on its eco boost, when it's turned down, it's still very loud. So I completely understand when people say, if you're boondocking, you're out with other people and you're running generator power, be respectful. It does get loud in that constant hum in the background. You just miss out on all of this. You want that nature sound. So here I am, I'm back where it all started. This is this is where I grew up. So um, this is where I've I fished my whole life. I hunt right back here. Every year I hunt deer all fall. It's awesome, I spend a ton of time up here. So now I'm getting my kids out, got the wife out here, and they love this place too. So I'm glad to try to have that second generation start and come down. So a lot of fun, a lot, a lot of fun. Let's get fishing, see what happens. Well, well, I got up early to go fishing, but the fish didn't get up early to eat, so one nothing fish.
Good morning. Good morning. What are you eating? Are they good? Are they delicious? Watch my coffee. Are they delicious? Are you are you looking at my coffee to try to step on it now? It's hot. Over here. Where are you taking me? For what? I don't like spiders. Oh. It's a daddy long leg. Touch it. No. Shoot it. <laughs> oh, you're staring. Yeah. Get out of poison ivy, please. Thank you. Yeah. What are you eating? Get out of my face. Mm. Yeah, the closer you get, the prettier you are. <laughs> Hi. Going fishing, I caught a beautiful blonde. I'm keeping her, I'm not tossing her back. What? It's a grasshopper. Butterfly. It was a butterfly. What'd you do? Oh, you got one. I got one. I got one. Wait, wait, wait. I can't run with that. What do we do with this? Go put it by the fire. No, I don't want to. I don't want to get this. Then just eat it. Um, yeah. For your birthday. Oh, it was Abigail, wasn't it? What do you think of that? Good. What is? There it is. 